Such a nasty question. Train wreck off the rails. Those are the words being used to describe last night's presidential debate. The number one target, the moderators. How about talking about the substantive issues people care about? Even in New Jersey, what you're doing is called rude. So, uh, <laughs> New Jersey Governor Chris Christie expressed fury over a question about fantasy football. We have $19 trillion in debt. We have people out of work. We have ISIS and Al-Qaeda attacking us. And we're talking about fantasy football? Can we stop? And right away, Donald Trump wasn't honest. thrilled with the line of questioning. Is this a comic book version of a presidential no, campaign? it's not a comic book. And it's not a very nicely asked question, the way you say that. Even the crowd got in on the act, you know, booing the CNBC moderators. <laughs> When it was over, we caught up with Dr. Ben Carson, who entered the debate as the front runner. A lot, of, a lot of people criticizing the moderators, the questions, the media in particular. Do you agree with that? Yes. Why? Because they were clearly, you know, gotcha type questions. And when you look at those compared to the questions that were asked in a Democratic debate, I mean, it's night and day difference. And, you know, at some point we need to get some parity here. Donald Trump yeah, told us he feels like the Democrats were treated more fairly in their I mean, debate. But it was certainly a lot different than what Hillary got. Jim Murray was there. This is the first week in his campaign where Donald Trump was not ahead in all of the polls. But anyone expecting to see a softer, gentler Donald Trump would be mistaken. Do you think anyone will say you faded tonight? There's no fade. That was no fade, that's for sure. Trump's family was at the debate in full force. We caught up with wife Melania, who you rarely hear speak on the campaign trail. How do you think your husband did tonight? Very well, fantastic job. I think he did incredibly. Trump's son, Donald Jr., wanted everyone to know Trump, the family man. We're incredibly tight-knit family. It's the way he raised us. He's a great father, great grandfather. He's taught us everything we know. Uh, it's just great to be here to support him and to see him do so well against such hostile people. Governor Jeb Bush needed a knockout punch at the debate and took aim at his former protege, Senator Marco Rubio, berating him over his absences in the Senate. When you signed up for this, this was a six-year term, and you should be showing up to work. I mean, literally, the Senate, what is it, like a French work week? You get like three days where you have to show up? You can campaign or just resign. Rubio saw it coming and delivered this zinger. And someone has convinced you that attacking me is going to help you. Well, I've been Here's the bottom line. I'm not, my campaign is going to be about the future of America. It's not going to be about attacking anyone else on this stage. Then there was this bizarro moment. You find a Democrat that's for cutting taxes, cutting spending $10, I'll give him a warm kiss. Thank you, Governor. 